Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to Tech It and you join me on the morning just collecting some of my wonderful nether wart and hopefully replanting lovely amounts of it. Let's see how much I got this time. 15. I don't know why I needed to open that. So I've been doing some, uh, actually quite a lot, it's probably about six or seven hours worth of uh, tinkering since the, uh, the last episode. Um, Basically, I've been messing with my biofuel generator and biofuel reactor because... Uh, have I got any more? Yeah. I will need to keep it pretty continuously stocked oh crap, with stuff at the moment because I have done a lot of work with my laser pre-drill. So I said I'd probably uh, want to power it with biofuel. And I built this swifty little building. Uh, swifty little building. Now, each of the pre-chargers... I've got to get round in here. It's not the best building ever. Has two. Uh, two. Each of the prechargers has three biofuel generators attached to it, which means that each of them is regenerating quite a fast rate. Which means this bad boy is is working pretty swiftly. It's not as fast as it could be. Obviously, if I was to put like two or three energy cells uh, next to each of these, it probably react faster. But it's been producing an absolute. Storming amount of resources it is it is just rinsing through and finding plenty of ore. Now iron is in short supply at the moment, and uh, don't need tin at all. So it's been it's been just obviously randomly generating a lot. So uh, diamond very useful, and emeralds they're very useful. What else have we got here? Never emerald ore, got nether diamond ore anywhere? Yeah, I've got nether diamond ore. Now I'm interested in just messing with this for a minute, minute because I want to see basically if a pulverizer for each of these ores is better than there is fortune three so if I put into my pulverizer that's got some quartz dust in it which was what we'll come to for today if I put one diamond ore in here and also put one diamond ore down here, if I whack this with the Fortune 3, I get three diamonds. If I put it through a pulverizer, I only get two. That's okay. So let's do the same with the nether ore. How many diamonds do you get with the nether ore versus how many diamonds do you get if you bash it with the uh, Fortune 3? Ah. What happened there? For some reason, I've also been experiencing a tremendous amount of lag. Yeah, apparently, you can't. Apparently, you have to put the uh, the diamond. I oh, get four though, so that's a good one. Why can't? <laughs> Why couldn't I see it? So we definitely want to hit the the normal diamond ore then with the Fortune Three. But when it comes to the oh, there, I got two then. So that's 22 diamonds, 26 diamonds. I'm guessing the emerald ore needs to go in, not in the energy confuser. The nether emerald ore needs to go in here as well. No. This is all lessons, lessons to be learned. So how on earth do we get, how on earth do we get emeralds out of emerald ore? I'm assuming Fortune 3 is going to be better for this one, so it's a 2 for that one. Nothing, you get no fortune, so it's definitely worth pulverizing that one. I don't really know how you get emerald, anything out of an emerald or then. Not really sure what, what to, uh, to take from that fact. Now, the emerald ore is a key here. Because it's going to allow me to refocus the the laser. So why have I got no? Oh, it's because I'm in the wrong menu. To build one of these laser focuses. Now each of these laser focuses, different colours, has a different. 
basically different target. I believe it's light blue is what I want for diamond. That requires stained glass light blue, which is ceramic dye light blue, which is light blue dye and clay. Light blue dye being white and blue. So it's a massive pain in the arse. Let's grab one of these. Grab one of these and make some light blue dye. I'm going to need much more than that, aren't I? I'm thinking this through. I need six. It's just very expensive just to get. Just to get the focus sorted. So then we need some clay. Ah, grabbed the wrong one. I don't need that much of that then. Cool. So let's use this chest over here, which I've got my junk in from previous experiences. So we need four of them. We've already got loads of emeralds. I've got absolutely tons of emeralds because I've been I've been dealing with the uh, the villagers. I've been doing some hardcore, severe, serious sort of tr uh, trades with them, and uh, it's been really kind of productive and obviously very productive. I've got 64 emeralds, but. That's the advantage because I've managed to get someone who wants to trade for wheat. So my wheat farm obviously gives me plenty of that. So hopefully this will then focus this, this particular laser now on to producing um, more diamond ore, which is going to help me in the short term. And then obviously I can refocus the yellow, for example, for gold when I need more gold. And so this thing will just keep ticking over and produce plenty of wonderful things. But we need the diamonds in order to produce some pipings that I want. Because I want to take some gold pipes. And it seems to take my diamonds away from me for some reason. And make them into diamonds pipes because I want to make some phased transport pipes. Because I want to automate quite a large amount of the work that I am doing. Phased. Phased transport pipe. Diamond, glass, diamond. I thought it was something ridiculously expensive like that. Now I'm going to need quite a few of them because I think it's four. So we just, just hold off on making... Uh, any more for now, just until we've worked out how many we need. So all those diamonds I already have, I've already rinsed my way through quite a few of them. But thanks to my fortune three pickaxe. Not, what, not really sure what I'm supposed to do with nether emerald ore. I have to love a look. I have to look that up. That's going to be useful when it comes to building my next target, which is all about wonderful. Computer craft, not computer craft, computer controlling things. So I'm also going to want to build a powered furnace. Powered furnace. So that's bricks, redstone, redstone reception coil and copper. So redstone reception coil, that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Simply because I don't want to use my nine that I have for my thingamajigger. That was copper, wasn't it? No plastic in this, unfortunately. So a powered furnace. Okay. So the idea here is I want to automate the biofuel. Bloody Enderman bringing things into my house. Want to automate the bringing of things to the bottom 
for the bioreactor. No. So we want it to receive only. What's a good number for bio? Bio auto bio. We'll have eight. So eight receive only. Okay. So we'll just quickly sleep. Good, I should solve many problems because my night vision, although it's useful, it keeps confusing the crap out of me as to whether I am dealing with the. Uh, obviously, daytime and nighttime. No, not that many. So this one is send only on eight. And it's white, so we want to put potatoes and seeds through white and take them out of blue. So how many how many seeds have we got in here now? It's got an abundance of seeds, so we don't really need to be sending that many seeds. So that splits those there to there. Wheat gets split between there and there. It's all good. So now, in the bioreactor, put some potatoes and some seeds, and then when it receives some, why did it fling those out of there? Can we, uh, You see this do some do some work? Is it gonna work? So potatoes are going down, which implies that I'm guessing some potatoes are going up as well. I have no idea how to test if this is working or not. Seventeen? I'm guessing if that stays at seventeen at sixteen. If it's going down is not helpful. It needs to go up. Seventeen, come on. Fifteen. Any indication that this is working would be ideal. Any at all. Totally helpful. Convincing me that I'm not being a total idiot. I want to see it go up once. That's all I need. 12. Eleven. No, it's not going we need to go up. Right, let's let's fudge it a little bit. Why am I bothering with that? There's loads of nice rump. Uh, ah, it's flown out there. So why is it not happy with putting potatoes into both? It's happy throwing them into there. It's not happy throwing them into there. Frequency 8, send only. Have I messed this up in some way? Frequency 8, receive only. Public receive only? Send on Fruity 8. Let's go for frequency 50 then. Public. Perfect. 
I'm very confused right now as to what's going wrong. It's in there, I think. It's just... Oh, go, close. Having troubles with this. This is this is turning into an episode of total failure. We extend this then by two. No, I'm just gotta click it with the same thing twice. Doesn't mean it is. Send only to 50. You're on send only to 10. You're getting plenty in there. I don't know what's going on. Loads of potatoes. Okay, so they're now going to be splitting, hopefully. I didn't spit them out this time. So is there potatoes in here now? There is! It's receiving potatoes and seeds. Fantastic. Clearly there was some sort of weird bug about attaching it directly, which we've now resolved. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is over here at the cactus production. So we have plenty, plenty of cactuses. We don't want cactuses in that sense. What we'd like is to do it automatically. Whoops. And I need some bloody redstone, bloody wire, bloody frustrating, bloody stupid, bloody Gareth. So let's throw some of this. Ah, all my furnaces stuff in them. Some there to cook, just so that we've got some. Constantly on the go. Pig farm and cow farm is still messed up. I don't know why they can't just stay in their required positions. Okay. It's a powered furnace. Input at the back, I believe. Yep, so it's already doing its job. And then if we put the output here. To interpret this is working or not working or not really sure I'm supposed to take this piece of information I'm being given on the screen right now. Logically that should work. These are going somewhere. 
just graphically it doesn't quite match as you'd like it to. Yep, so we're getting cactus green in here. Good. So that's all automated wonderfully. So how much have we got stuff in here? So it's shortage of wheat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Green. It's got the wheat coming to it. Green and blue. Why is there a shortage of wheat? Oh, it's a system that requires some sort of crazy maintenance. There you go. Let's keep you going. How's my tank doing? It's nearly full. I need to start spawning some things. I suppose that's what I can show you. Because this should now be working and it needs to be monitored. Which should keep that continuously pumping. And keep this continuously full of stuff. Which is, you know, what we uh, what we aim for. Let's store some of these in here. So that's all good. I um, can't remember what else I've been setting on for now. So it's dark again. Right. So that's that's the uh, the automation of the bio fuel, which should keep the pre drill laser pre drills charged, which should keep the drill running. Let's see if we can get any more diamonds, tin, ferrous. Why why is that separate? I'm very, what? the emerald ore we actually haven't got the one thing that I've asked you to focus on what shall we have a quick google of the laser drill laser laser focus so the laser drill according to this what colors do we need light blue is diamond so we've done done the right one. Emerald is green. So we could add one for iron as well because iron is quite important. Iron is brown. All right, let's do that. In. Let's tell that we want iron and diamond please and iron and diamond please only. But that's going to require a lot of faffing around. Let's not bother with that. Let me finish showing you what I was going to show you, which I can't remember even what it was now. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. This is all working fine. It's ticking away. Picking it up as it finds it, which is all we can ask it to do. Ah, the sludge boiler. So I've put into place a sludge boiler. Because this thing generates sludge. And you can boil the sludge and produce random resources also put another harvester in place for my reed farm now I've only put a bronze it's a copper I've only put a copper expansion in it I don't want that much this is for the um, paper because I've got a villager who will exchange 30 paper for an emerald and a second villager who will exchange 26 paper for an emerald so basically those are the two that I've been farming as far as getting my diamonds is the guy that likes wheat the guy that likes paper and the second guy that likes paper there's also a guy that likes books as well which again requires paper so the leather from my slaughtering why are you on the wrong side of this fence get on this side of the fence and get yourself killed like you should do I've also I saw I can show you isn't it how I've expanded upon my um, come back in here you little bastard changed my farming situation as much as I can to try and fix the problems. The problem is when they're focused on standing next to a fence like this and they grow, that's when they morph through it, which is the problem. So I've put many fencing places in, in situations in place. Um, and I'm going to try, now that I've got plenty of emeralds, to put a few more of the, the, the transporting, like these bad boys, the so that I can move babies and adults around so anything that comes through the fence should get put back into here regardless of whether it's adult or child but the additional uh, final addition I made is I've added a grinder to the mob spawn area because if we take 
I've captured a slime, that was quite cool. And so I can put a slime in here and it'll capture, it'll produce slimes, which then produce me loads of slime balls, which is very useful. But the most important one is this bad boy, because I've been struggling massively with, um, are you on? No, good. Struggling massively with the wither, I'm trying to get the wither, because I need the nether star. So if we, we use this and put it into exact copy mode, it produces the wither skeletons. And then the grinder kills him, kills them. And because they produce at least one of whatever it is, mostly I'll get bone meal, which I now know I can put into the, uh, the bio reactor. But every now and again, hopefully, maybe, also drops coal. There they go. Coal is a weird one. I'm not sure why the wither skeletons produce coal, but that's what they do. Come on, grinder. Do some grindering. Come on. Just want one. One more. I, only need, I think I only need three in total to spawn one wither. And then we can have an epic battle. But basically, you have to kill a lot of skeletons to get a skeleton head. And even when I've used my... Uh, my looting two sword. I've got a looting, yeah, looting two to kill them. It doesn't produce anything either. It just produces coal and sticks and things. Let's just turn this pump on so it's got some more. Yeah, I got one. I got withered. So I got another head. And they do stack, which is nice. Is that coming through? Good. So yeah, this is basically what I've been using, or how I've been doing it, how I've been setting it up, um, just to try and get some uh, some wither skulls. As soon as I've got three wither skulls, I can then look at fight in the wither. Is my looting too ah, rubbish? The best option? Because it's got smite on it, which is like an insta-kill apparently against these uh, these bad boys. But the looting doesn't appear to be making them drop anything. Bloody wither damage. How much my tank is using? Not very much, actually. I don't think you get enough mob essence to spawn a mob for every mob that you kill, to be fair. But I can't think it hurts. Come on, just one more head. Got to be one more head in here somewhere. You even dropped the bloody not needed things. Still not got a head. Yes, there's one. Saw it. Give it to me. Pull you out of there for a second. Switch you off. Put you back in there because you're extremely useful. There we have it. We have our three heads. I got 50. I got loads of bones. Whew. So that's extremely useful. So we can now produce or spawn the wither. I can also use this bad boy to capture many, many more. How much did that one have exactly used? I used what was already in the line and about a tank, which isn't actually that much. So maybe you can, because it is feeding back into it. So it is, it is quite a useful thing. But I think we'll... Uh, I'll keep episodes to about 
half an hour from now on because I think that gives me enough time because if I, I was trying to keep them to 15 20 minutes and it's really difficult to do anything in 15 20 minutes and take it just just the complexity of, of what it is that you are trying to do so half an hour or so I think will be the good the good stop point from this point forward as we start to get onto the more complex builds the uh, the next thing that I want to build is uh, the ME computer because I want to have the storage changed entirely within my house and I want a lot more automation involved and the ME system will allow for a lot more automation on building and storing resources and all sorts of wonderful things like that. So I've had a look at, basically there's another tweaks episode isn't it, tweaks to my pre-drill, tweaks to my farm, tweaks to my bioreactor, everything that I've needed to uh, to realistically make sure that we're all ticking over nicely, still producing lots and lots of biofuel to power that laser pre-drill to find me lots of ore. This has stopped complaining as much. So let's just run up here and see if we've got any diamond yet. Because otherwise this laser focus is totally pointless. Diamond! Cool. So I will build another laser focus for iron off camera because it's going to be a fact to get brown. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the episodes and in the next episode we'll have a look at ME computers. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Bye for now.